pretty sure oh, our wait, conversation is quiet. all... Oh. <laughs> yeah, she's doing wait, the never thing! Mind. Oh my god! Hey, welcome back. <laughs> welcome back. <laughs> welcome back. Yeah. Cameron's dead. I am... Yeah. I have killed Cameron. I have... Uh, <laughs> I'm a ghost beyond the grave, much like me is going to be soon. Um, I guess do I just talk to her? Yes. Talk what to, else are you talk about do? yourself? I don't know. Pay bail. <laughs> that talk probably wouldn't work. Me uh, eating bugs <laughs> and ice cream today. Mhm. Mm yeah. That's what you wanted to talk about, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, so there's there's this ice cream place called Salt and Straw over here, um, and they have their spooky menu, and there's like black cat licorice and lavender flavor, and oh, that sounds uh, nice. <laughs> bubble double bubble toil and trouble flavor, which is like bubble gum and whatnot. And there was one that was like it was Don Baguito's. Creepy crawly something or other, and I was like, eh, "That's funny." It's like Don Julio or something, but Don Baguito because uh -huh. it's creepy crawlies. And so I asked the girl there, "I was like, so what's in that?" She's like, "Um, so it's actually a matcha base ice cream." And so my brain's like, "Oh yeah, matcha. That's like that tea stuff. I like that." And uh -huh. I hear I hear her say, "Chocolate crickets." Chocolate covered crickets. Oh. And then she said something else. <laughs> uh huh. And I was like, processing, because I was still thinking, like, oh yeah, I like matcha. Matcha's good. Oh, stuff. matcha, that'd be great. And and then, yes, yeah, so my brain's processing that. And then I vaguely was like, wait a minute. Did she, did she say chocolate covered crickets? So I asked, I was like, did you say chocolate covered crickets? <laughs> like, yeah. Like, real crickets? Uh huh. <laughs> okay, yeah, I'll try it. Why not? So, yeah, I tried it. And apparently, How was it? it was actually really good. Um, there's also mealworms in it. <laughs> And that, was, that was the third thing that she had said that I didn't really have any clue what she was talking about. I was like, oh, okay, it's mm, me. Matcha. Oh, that's delicious. Chocolate cover. Ah, uh, it's fine. Fucking mealworms. They're like, I don't, I don't know. Oh. I'd have to look at the thing again, but yep. Uh, it was actually uh, good. I, uh, it was probably the weirdest thing that I've ever eaten in my life, but it was actually good. I won't ever, like, get a full scoop of it, mind you, but... Yeah. I... Mm, mm -mm. I will never in my life... You can... Even if... You can offer me a million dollars, and I probably still wouldn't eat a bug. <laughs> I hate... Well, I hate... I hate insects. They're dead. So they don't... They're only That's, creepy. That they're doesn't not, help. They're not crawly. So you could say beef is dead, and I'm like, I don't care. I know it's good. It's beef. <laughs> it's cricket. Mm. Anyway, no. that was my experience today. Yay, we wasted five minutes of the viewer's time by talking about ice cream and crickets. Don't forget the mealworms. Do it. Wiggly squiggly mealworms. I, I, I want to forget them. What do you mean, don't forget? I want to. Uh... There's something I've been wanting to ask you. Mm, yes. What's with that outfit? Oh, this? This is what all acolytes wear. It's my uniform, you can say. Uh, acolytes? Like, like people purple. in religious training? What is it you do? Oh, it's nothing strange, really. I'm a sp isn't she like a commune? It's, yeah, spirit medium in training. Communer. So, Perfect. a small, medium at large. <laughs> she's tiny. Uh, and she's yeah. in jail. <laughs> I, I guess she's not at large know. anymore. 
I don't know how small she is, so like, I want to laugh, but I'm also like questioning it slightly. <laughs> I I respect the joke though. I respect the spirit medium. I'm pretty sure that qualifies as strange. Like people that eat bugs. Like what the fuck? No, uh, I think spirit mediums are a bit lower on the strangeness <laughs> meter than <laughs> bug eaters. At least to me. I mean, okay, I know that they're they're like cultures and like customs where that's like normal or like it's a delicacy but I don't know man eating bugs just feels weird could you tell me about the day of the murder yeah yes. honestly there was like the psychological aspect of it like if that wasn't the thing I probably would have been like hey this is actually good but uh -huh. just knowing what was in there? That's the was problem. Like, you know, it didn't taste bad. <laughs> I actually kind of liked it, but I'm not gonna eat it again. <laughs> that's the that's it. for me. That's the biggest reason why I just won't eat bugs. It's because it's a, there's that psychological reason of like, oh, this is an insect that I'm about to put into my mouth and digest in my system. That's not something I should be doing. <laughs> I don't want to do that. Let's see. That morning. I got a call from my sister. She wanted me to hold on to a piece of evidence for an upcoming trial. Evidence? Yes, a clock shaped like the thinker. One Larry made? How could that have been evidence in a case? <laughs> well, you it's evidence it now, come. Phoenix. Um, so I just said something about that. I remember. You want to hear it in her own voice? Oh, she's gonna do the thing, isn't she? Her own voice. Wait, is she gonna do the thing this early? Wait a minute. Yes. I'm pretty sure. Oh, our wait, conversation she's quiet. Was on. Oh. <laughs> yeah, she's doing <laughs> the Never thing. Mind. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, she's, she's doing the phone. The Holy shit. It's happening. <laughs> I. Spoilers? What are those? What? You recorded it. Yeah, I forgot how to delete those things. Uh oh. You're getting laggy. Oh, oh god, Discord, stop. Oh, okay, Thank okay. You. So, you say you I have a conversation ask. with your sister on your cell phone? Let's hear it! Right! Oh, I just remembered yeah, to take, to take my phone. Alright. Oh, right, of course. Next time I see Detective Gumshoe, Sometimes. I'll ask him for it. I'll write you a note so you don't forget, okay? Sure, thanks. Do you have a, a pen and paper? Okay, yes, you do. Oh, I forgot. Conversation that I had with my sister is recorded on my phone. <laughs> <laughs> Maya's uh, memo miss, added to the court all your belongings. Maya's just like, no, no, I swear, I have my phone. It's on me somewhere. Just give me, give me a minute. <laughs> Meanwhile, the officer just come like comes up to her and like puts it in her face like. I, I literally have right here. <laughs> do you think... Do you think psychics... <laughs> that try to predict football scores... If they ever get the... The... Scores wrong... They have to say, oh sorry, I was on the wrong channel. Oh, you're an acolyte. Uh, medium and training. <laughs> that one that was that one was reaching. <laughs> you really went for a Hail Mary and it just did not work out. <laughs> I I knew it was you heard the pre-joke laugh. I was like, this is awful. I'm saying it. <laughs> there was a there was like an uncanny length of silence, and I was like, uh-oh. I say something really cringy or bad, and then you started. No, and I, was, I was like, I was warming "Oh up wait, for he's that. he's processing, he's processing." Uh, that's right. The Fey family, especially the women, have always been very sensitive to the spirit world. Wait a second, you said the Fey family? So Mia was into this stuff too. Oh, of course. She was very, uh, religious. Yeah, that's the word. She left the mountain to follow her career, she said. Her powers were first class, too. 
I, I had no idea. Hmm. Wait! What? So you're a real honest-to-goodness spirit medium with ESP and all that? I even have ESPN. It's pretty crazy, actually. Yes, well, in training. Well, can't you contact oh, no. me as spirit, then? <laughs> I felt the silence again, and I was like, oh, god, here we go. The wrong channel that the spirit was... <laughs> Spirit person was on was ESP. We didn't just ask. Her. <laughs> I tried to like help help smooth it out with the ESP and joke. I don't really think it worked. I, I'm sorry. <coughs> I'm sorry for coughing. <clears throat> I'm still in training. I couldn't do something on that level. Mm, I thought that would be too easy. Mm. Um. Huh? Something the matter? Um, I was wondering, could I ask you for a favor? Huh? This is the address of a famous lawyer. My sister gave me this a long time ago. She said if I was ever in trouble, I should call him. Oh, is it? No, I'm not gonna say anything. And it's a well, Fumi. I'm in trouble. <laughs> you can be How the hell did he survive? How did he get out? Put him back in Dagaropa. I want him here. You think you can go ask him to represent me? Hmm. Yeah, sure, why not? Sure, yeah, if that's what she wants. <laughs> sure, why not? Yeah. I'll go ask. Thank you so much! I have no one else to turn to. Even though I know um, you just offered Phoenix, but. Say, what about your fine. parents? They're dead. They are dead. Okay, maybe they are dead. I, I see. Don't worry. Leave it to me. Thank you. The trial's tomorrow at 10... F Holy shit, that is fast. <laughs> what? Tomorrow? I don't think that's how court systems work. I'm not an expert on that, but I don't think the turnaround is that fast. Tomorrow. What if this guy refuses? They told me that if I don't find one, the state will pick an attorney to defend me. When will that happen? They're giving me until four this afternoon. Jeez, Maya, say this information up front, please. And visiting <laughs> hours are almost up. I better hurry. Yeah, don't just be like, oh, hey, you have like right. five more minutes to back. find an attorney. Yeah, we have time. Could you tell me about the day of the murder? Why... Do I even want to question? <laughs> <laughs> I... Okay... <laughs> Context, Jared just sent me a message in Discord that says, in all capital letters, SPOOK ATTACK! <laughs> Except, I didn't get a notification or anything. I just have it up on my second monitor, so I, I just Damn saw, it. like... One new message since blah blah blah, and I was like, spook attack. <laughs> That's supposed to mean something? <laughs> yeah. Yep. Uh, anyway. I'll, ch I'll change my settings so that it's more effective next time. Okay. Oh, yeah, I already said that line. Oh, okay. My memory's great. <laughs> Sorry, I know it must be hard to have such shitty memory. <laughs> it really is. Why are you here? Who are you? I too, I mean, it's okay. All I've been doing the last few hours is talking about it. I've gotten kind of used to it. Let's see, that morning I got a call from my sister. She wanted to hold on a new piece of evidence. Yes, we talked about this. That's the thinker clock that Larry made. Uh huh. It practically qualifies as a serial murderer by now. <laughs> I mean, I guess he's on to something there. <laughs> Maybe so the then, thinker is possessed. It's a curse. That's clock. why we just. That's why we need- that's why we need Maya, because she has the spirits to exercise! Anyone that sees it knows that their time is soon coming to an end. Sister <laughs> time is nigh. <laughs> the clock is ticking. It was around nine. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> the lights were off, and I- <coughs> Water is what I need. Sinker, what time and is it? 
Time to die. Death. <laughs> wow, um, he didn't have to be so specific. Jeez. And I found her, my sister. Assimilate. Thanks, what? Maya. That's all I need to hear for now. How about now? Okay, bye. Wait. Wait. What? Show her some evidence. Oh, that's probably what a good... Show her the Let's badge. show her the badge. Sorry. I've never seen that before. Well, no shit. I was showing you... Whatever. I wanted what to ask you about the murder that. weapon. Horses. <laughs> Better not ask her about this now. What about the shards? This was lying next to the chief's body. Mm, I saw that too. They said they thought these were pieces of a broken lamp. Ah, I got a. It. Hold on. Wait a minute. Yeah, that seems about bar... right. <laughs> mm hmm. Though I'd never heard of a glass light stand before this. Oh my god, it's all smoky now. Smoky. Remember that receipt? You mean the one with my name on it? Yeah, I remember. Any idea why she... Absolutely none! Um, you trust me? I don't trust you. Sure, of course. I trust you! Why? Would you think I did it too? No, I don't. Well, I mean, I don't see why. The, unless she's like the best actor in the entire world. I don't think she did it. It's just a hunch, but... That seemed like a real tear. <laughs> you look like you were crying real water out of your eyeballs. No person could fake that. That detective thinks I did it. Okay. Well, wait, I don't think we need to show her the thing that she wrote. Probably um, not. Rosberg. September 6th. Rosberg Law Offices. Look at that fine looking man in the painting right there. Uh oh. Sepia is leaking in. Yeah, of course, man. Of According course. to the receptionist, the big boss is out. She could say when he'd be back. It's, oh, hey. <laughs> Must be hard to keep track I, of everything when you're a famous lawyer. I think that's a bear statue in the back with a fish in his mouth. But when I looked at it first, I thought elephant. it was an elephant. <laughs> yeah, I was going to make an elephant in the room joke, and then I realized it's not an elephant. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. I guess I'll just have to come back later. Okay, bye. Hey, you see that globe in the back? Next to the elephant bear? Uh huh. Oh, okay. wait, can I look at stuff? Expensive looking mahogany bookshelves filled with expensive looking books. With an expensive hmm, looking elephant. They don't look like they've ever been read. I don't know how you could tell that. That but globe okay. is what happens when greenhouse gases take over the planet. Oh. A solid mahogany desk. The wood's been polished to a deep luster. Maybe it's not like a globe. Maybe it's just a big giant gumball. Yeah. He's saving it for a special day. That painting has been bugging me ever since I stepped in here. That's beautiful, what he made. The oil paint is so thick, it's practically giving me a stuffed nose. I'm sure the price is nothing to sneeze at, either, for that matter. Yeah, that is weird. <laughs> Achoo! Son of a bitch. A table for clients. Hmm, an elegant ebony case, and if I'm not mistaken, that lighter's made of solid gold. Apparently I'm thinking of elephants, because I read that as elephant, not elegant. No, elephants have ivory, not ebony. I died. That's it. Yes, I know. <laughs> Even I can tell someone here's got money to burn. Watch, she made an elephant. Elephants ebony. have ivory. 
I know, but I read Alligator's Elephant. September 6th, fan call officers. Ouch. Offices filled with police officers. <gasps> oh, buzzly searching for dick. clues. Let's search for the dick. Hey, you there! Oh, no, it's we found us. You can have him. That's fine. No, you can, he's yours. This is a crime the scene, is... pal. No trespassing. <laughs> the dick is all yours, buddy. Um, sorry, don't I know you from somewhere? Wait, you're that butts guy, aren't you? No, no, Phoenix Wright. Who would anyone mistake me for Larry? What do you mean? We're like practically twins, dude. Come on. Ah, guess I got the wrong name, Mr. Wright. Sorry about that. That butts guy, he was a killer. And you're no killer, right? What? But I was proven innocent. What the fuck? He was proven innocent. Yeah, you um, tell him, right? Right. And you were... <laughs> Detective Gumtree. Detective Sw... <laughs> um, Gumtree, was it? Detective Gumtree? Gumtree? Gum doesn't grow on trees, pal. Yes, it does. I was gonna say, doesn't it? Yeah. Kind of? <laughs> it does. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, wait a minute. <laughs> That's not right. And I'm the one in charge here, so don't push your luck. Because isn't it like... Whatever you say, Detective. Anyway, get the name right. And don't go calling me Dick. <laughs> yeah, okay. Hey, Dick, get over here! Y yes, sir. But be right there. Um, ahem. You're a lawyer, right, pal? You got business here, you better do it quick. He thinks I'm my nice lawyer. Yay! Oh my god! Let's... Wait, can I not... Okay, let's examine shit. I... The plant! Meet his favorite potted plant. And a bot. I remember it had this bizarre name no one could ever remember. Cordyline Stricta, pal. Stricta, pal. Oh, that's right, because it's the gum tree. Who was that? It was the dick gum tree. My as, er, Mia's desk. It's already happening. <laughs> Perfectly clean as always. The only thing that's, that's missing is Mia. Well, that's... Depressing. Records! Yeah, it's a horrendous amount of books. records! Here. There's somebody put wicked wicked records! Scarier still is that Mia probably read all these records! Do, do, boom, boom. Look, a painting! Click on the painting to win prizes! Oh my god, it's a painting. An old movie it's poster. Sepia. Kind of Apparently, sepia, sort of. This was the first movie that made Mia cry when she saw it. It's called Flashback. Great movie. It's called Memories in Sepia. The Crying. The Flashback. <laughs> the Flashing. Oh god, that sounds like a start to a different kind of movie. <laughs> uh, maybe it's a converging of genres. Converging? You know, experimental. Ah. <laughs> uh. Yes. I'll have to check it out one of these days. <laughs> no, Phoenix, no, stay pure. Films. Look out the window! Yay! The sky is blue. blue, and so am I. I'm Sonic the Headshot. Gotta go fast! <laughs> Records! <laughs> There's that hotel right across the way. Oh, should we go find... Can we go find pink-haired lady? Big bosom? Uh, what? I guess maybe I talked to the guy. The guy about Miss Faye. Did you do an autopsy? Mm, you want to know the results, eh? That's why I'm asking you. Yes. Now don't you look at me like that, pal. It's no use. <laughs> Phoenix just went like full puppy dog mode. She might have been your boss, but that doesn't mean you get any special treatment. 
All right, all right, you can see the report, but that's all. I haven't even said anything. Thanks, Gumtree. Autopsy report I'm added right. to the court record. I'm a dad, September 5th, and I'm um, causing a blood force trauma death was instantaneous. Oh! My records! Um, about Maya. Yeah, I'm looking forward to the trial. Sorry, pal, but this is one trial you ain't gonna win. But why do you say that? The city's put Prosecutor Edgeworth oh, on the prosecution. It's the boy! Edgeworth. I get Edgeworth. He's mine. Yeah, you can have him. All damn. Because I don't want everybody you do, to talk this to This place is going to be you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you I'm talk sure you all know the time. what that means, you being a lawyer and all. Yeah, let's talk about Phoenix's boyfriend, Rook. Prosecutor Edgeworth! That's right, pal. Mr. Miles Edgeworth himself. Wait, you do know him, don't you? Uh, yeah. I mean, I do, yeah. I do, too. Of course Phoenix knows him. Yeah. They're like, best buds. They went to school that... together. I, I, I want to take your word for that, because I don't know. I know him. He's a feared prosecutor. He doesn't feel pain. He doesn't <coughs> feel remorse. Ow. He <laughs> won't stop until he gets his guilty verdict. Ah. Uh. Oh, don't talk about him that way. You make him barely sound human. Still, I'm afraid this pretty much decides the case. So, Ow. Edward is on this one. He hasn't lost a case since he became prosecutor at the incredibly young age of 20. I don't know if that's actually a good thing. Of course, there are rumors of back alleys, deals, and for for for, for forge evidence. All I know for sure is that Edgeworth hates crime with an almost abnormal passion. I never imagined I'd be facing him so soon. Oh. Wow, it's like we're it's like we're playing my sports. He's my rival. <laughs> <laughs> Records of Edgeworth. Oh. Um, I guess we could probably show him the things. Yeah. Hey, Gumshoe, here's my badge. Mm, what's that? Sorry, pal, but I got no info for the likes of you. I just wanted to show off my badge, man. I was wondering, do you know anything about this? That statue, that's the murder weapon. And he thinks the clock is just a statue, too. <laughs> I like how we just have the murder weapon with us. Like, the police didn't take it. <laughs> I think it might just be Phoenix a photo just of it. Uh, he's just taking it around. <laughs> no, I like, to, I like to imagine he has like the, like, actual statue. statue. <laughs> <laughs> In Starting my world. In my world, I'm carrying around the murder weapon, and it's not been seized by police for info collection. Yes. I'm starting to wish I'd Pink never comedy. seen this thing. There was broken glass at the crime scene, right? Hmm, oh, that? Seems like a glass stand next to the victim fell over. Glass shards with pieces of the broken stamp. I'm sure your That's voice cracked up, bud. <laughs> what do you mean I'm doing fine? <laughs> there was a piece of paper next to the victim, wasn't there? Yeah, the one with the killer's name written on it. Are you sure that Mia wrote it herself? Given the condition of the writing, it's hard to say if it's her handwriting or not. Hey, maybe you guys should, I don't know, maybe cross-reference that note with her entire ledger. <gasps> Whoa! So there's no proof Crazy. that Mia wrote it. Yeah, okay, guys, don't even think about that, it's fine. I was wondering, did you see Maya Faye's cell phone? Oh, that? Oh, oh, let's not be Sonic for that. Oh, that? I have that. <laughs> that phone is adorable, though, I must say. It's a Nokia! 
It it looks like an absolute brick for sure. Do you think you can give it back? Sure. I mean, wait a second, pal. Tricky lawyer. Uh oh, he's on to me. I mean, just tell him straight. Yeah. Just be like, hey, come shoot. I want it. <laughs> I tell him why I want it. There's no way he'll give it to me. No, don't pull a. You have a choice, but don't have a choice. Something the matter? Oh no, it's just you know, detective. Nope, I know nothing, pal. Oh my god, it is doing the fucking. <sighs> that cell phone has a lot of numbers on it, like her boyfriend's. Oh, that'll that. Oh, you you want it? The cell phone holds all a little girl's sweetest and spiciest secrets. Uh, y you're trying to confuse me. Sorry, pal, I already checked all the numbers in memory. Impressive, you're quite the detective. Uh-huh. Oh, here, you can have the phone back. There weren't any suspicious call records in there, after all. Seems he didn't notice the recorded conversation. No, not too bright. My cell phone What's received the from between Detective the team and Check the core record to hear the recorded conversation. Uh, on the I can't next wait to hear episode. those. Yay! Toodle-doodle-doodle-doodle! Toodles! Uh, I tell you that's so what weird thing things have you eaten recently? recently? <laughs> um, food. I crazy, I know, right? Yeah, you're a picky eater. It's okay, you can just say yeah, that. Kind of. I'm not averse to trying new things, just not bugs. <laughs> you know? You couldn't even tell it was bugs. The only reason I knew it was bugs. That doesn't change the I fact asked. that it's bugs. <laughs> you could you could say you could be like, oh, you couldn't even tell it was poop, but doesn't mean I'm gonna go and eat poop. You know what? If poop was 